If you met him and you got to have a conversation with him, nine times out of 10, he left you with something to think about. You know what I mean? That you've probably never heard or you never looked at it that way. <laughs> I heard Monkey Suit once, like the actual song, but I just fell in love with that Mad Lib beat. I pulled up the instrumental and I, I wrote this Survival Tactics verse to that. And the next day I came like to school, I seen Steve's in the lunchroom and I was like, yo, you gotta hear this verse beat. Like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta hear this shit. So I like, you know, I, I spit it for him or whatever. He's like, yo, that shit is hard, but you should put it on this beat and let's do it together. And then he had the Survival Tactics Styles of Beyond beat. And I was like, all right, bet. After school, let's go to my crib. Niggas don't want war, I'm a Martian with an army of Spartan, sparring with a knife in a missile fight. I'm trying to accomplish one, the illest beginning of all time. I'm like, I'm also trying to, you know, declare war on the rap game. Like, yo, I'm out here in the middle of this shit and I got a knife, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that was just a metaphor to like, us being here, like independent, not really having anything. Get your intel right, your intelligence is irrelevant, but it's definite. I spit more than speech impediments. Brooklyn's the residence, the best and it's evident. Got them niggas P.E. nuts like they elephants. Uh, so we got them going, you know, P.E.'s is, is, is the gang. Throw them in the trunk if they hate though. We don't give a fuck as long, we collect our pesos. So y'all collect pesos, y'all money ain't right here. Got them girls next to the wood like they light, yeah. I'm right here. Toy Story reference, got them girls next to wood, woody. Like they like, yeah. Trying to get a buzz, trying to pollinate, trying to get a buzz like Buzz Light, yeah. Trying to get a buzz like in the world, get a buzz in my career. Trying to pollinate, like trying to blossom, trying to, you know what I'm saying? Trying to, trying to grow. These got that presidential shit time to inaugurate. He had the presidential pack, you know what I'm saying? With the trees, you know what I'm saying? So it's time to inaugurate, time to bring it in <laughs> to our cipher and everything. My PE conglomerates, by the PEE -E on any one of BE, weak MC, air them out and leave them empty. Congratulate the semi auto, fire flame spitter like Komoto. No time for fake people, they be simming like Komora. I'm the Emporer in search of Theodora, my heart go. Ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, boom. So, no time for fake people is a reference to sim. Like the Sims, they be simming and then Simmons like Komora Lee Simmons. It's panic like Dora when shots blast. See, I was raised that way from a place where they raised that K like every day and every way and everywhere you go just ain't safe. Only thing that I could say to you was pray. Cause when niggas start equipping and throw the clip in, your blood dripping and catch you slipping. They're not the victim, don't know what's hit them. Do a spinal. Just another man who defeated by survival. That's your biggest rival in your whole life. These bars you can't handle, you better hold tight. Saying I'm the best, I'm like, it's so right. Still ain't got enough shine to last the whole night, nigga. It's six million ways to die, my nigga choose one. Doomsday come and start investing in a few guns. New gats, booby traps, and bazooka straps. Better play your cards right, no booster packs. I ain't gonna lie, like when he first said that, like I didn't even know what a booster pack was. I, I, I actually remember looking it up and I'm like, oh, like it's like a fake card deck or something like, you know what I mean? I was like, word. He used to always say shit that like I just never heard before and I had to like ask them about it or look it up. Everybody claim they're used to rap, but this ain't even punchlines no more. I'm abusing tracks, leaving instrumentals blue and black. I'm in Marty McFly mode, so tell him that the future's back, riding on hoverboards, wiping out motherboards, start spitting fire, cause my motherfucking lungs are scorched. King Arthur when he swung a sword. The King Arthur, I ain't even used a pen in like a month or four. That's a hard ass bar. Like, that was one of the bars, like, damn. Why the fuck I ain't think of that? <laughs> I was like, damn, give me one more month, I would've came up with that shit, you know what I'm saying? I had a hard time writing lyrics, now I'm way overheads, science fiction. You can try and get it, I been the flyers with it, wouldn't mind a fine of interest for your finest interest. They say hard work pays off, but to the base guard, don't quit his day job. Cause PE's about to take off with protons and electrons, homie, that's A-bomb. It's funny cause Steve's loved the bass guy. It was almost like a playful 
sparring bar. You know what I mean? Like, he, and he he's like a controversial thinker, so I already knew he knew how people would react to that. But he really loved the bass god, though. Like, he put me on to the bass god, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But fucking ridiculous. Finger to the president, screaming fuck censorship. And if Obama got that president election and them PE boys about to make an intervention, well, I just caught that too. <laughs> President election is P.E. Fuck what I once said, I want the bloodshed. Cause nowadays, for respect, you gotta pump lead. I guess Columbine was listening to Shaka Khan cause Pokemon wasn't getting recognized at Comic Con. <laughs> it's like we've been content with losing and half our students falling victim to the institution. Jobs are scarce since the scientific revolution and little kids are shooting Uzis cause it's given to them. Little weapon, cold name Smith and Wesson and you be quick to catch a bullet like an interception. If your man's trying to disrespect him, send a message and it's over in a millisecond. Nigga. He wasn't one to start fights or start, you know, bullshit for no reason, but when it came to that time, he was not gonna be absent. Steve was a very, like, loving person. Loving and lovable, you know what I mean? He had love for everybody around him. He was the type of dude that would try to uplift everyone around him. Like, he always tried to leave you with something. I even remember being 16 when he appointed me as the leader of Pro Era. And I was like, what? I'm like, bro, you the leader. I'm like, how I'm the leader and I follow you? He was like, nah, like, I wanna be more like the teacher. And right away I understood. As soon as he said that, I was like, bet, I got you. I see, I see how, I see your vision. And he knew that I was capable of taking it to where he wanted it to go.